Hear that? That's the sound of an 18-inch long tongue ripping leaves from branches. Giraffes can eat up to 140 pounds of food a day. That's 7% of his nearly one ton body weight. This guy's part of my study group, so he knows I'm not a threat. They spend a lot of time eating and only sleep about 30 minutes a day, usually standing in short five minute bursts. In all my years in the field, I've actually never seen a giraffe sleeping. At 18 feet tall, they can easily spot potential danger. Although there aren't too many animals that they have to worry about, except us. The truth is we humans are their biggest threat. Giraffes are hunted legally in some countries and illegally in others for their meat, skins, and even their tails, which are used to make trinkets like bracelets and fly swatters. When you add in habitat loss, poaching, and trophy hunting, you begin to see how we've drastically reduced giraffe populations. Nearly 40% have disappeared in the last three decades. I've known this guy since he was a spindly-legged calf, but with those statistics, I worry about his future. That's why this research matters. I'm counting on you to learn as much as you can today so you can help spread the word about giraffe conservation. Let's start with some basics. Did you know giraffes can actually go up to a month without drinking water? They get most of their hydration from the tender leaves they eat. And when they do drink, they have to spread their long forelegs out to reach the water, like that one in the back is doing there. But they're very cautious about it because that awkward pose makes them vulnerable to attack from lions. Check this out. See how she moves both legs on the same side of her body at the same time? Not many animals do that. It's an unusual gait called pacing that's thought to keep the fore and the hind legs from colliding. These two are used to me, but this 360 camera is new to them. They're very curious about it. Look at those lashes, built-in eye protection from sun, sand, and thorns. Now you can get a look at that famous long neck. Even with this incredible adaptation, they only have seven vertebrae in their neck, like we do. To give you some perspective, giraffes are so tall, they could look into a second-story window without even stretching. Sadly, while giraffe numbers were plummeting over the last 30 years, there were no headlines shouting about it. It's being called the silent extinction because until recently, even many conservationists like myself were unaware how quickly the world's tallest animal was disappearing. In a belated attempt to protect them, giraffes were listed as vulnerable in 2016. Their future depends on our collaborative efforts to come up with solutions that benefit everyone. You're getting some great field experience. Let's play a little trivia game before we head out on our next expedition.